Hey Fragrance Junkie Gang, welcome back to the channel and if you are new, welcome. On today's burn series, I want to chat about Midnight Jasmine from Yankee. With me being a floral lover, this candle pulled at my heartstrings when I saw it on clearance on Yankee's website months ago. Between the months of February and March prior to Yankee's semi-annual sale, I purchased an abundance of candles which is why you all haven't seen a Yankee semi-annual sale haul from me. Please excuse the slight hoarseness in my voice. I went to a concert two nights ago, so my voice may be a little raspy. It didn't help that my local store had a lot of 18 ounce three wicks on clearance, so I grabbed scents from every season, and I'm glad I did because aside from the large three wicks getting discontinued, so are these lovely two wick signature jars. A lot of fragrances sold out online prior to the semi-annual sale, so I hope Yankee will bring them back in the new 14.5 ounce three wick next season. I love when Yankee uses colored wax, but I also like when fresh scents or pretty scented florals come with the white wax. Clean cotton, sparkling snow, and spun sugar flurries are some of my favorite fragrances that come with white wax. I love the simplicity of this label with the white florals and honeysuckles. When I smelt this candle on cold, I could pick up on a neroli note along with the honeysuckle and jasmine. The scent story states a seductively lush perfume of water jasmine, sweet honeysuckle, neroli, and mandarin blossom. We have top notes of grapefruit, orange, and passion fruit, mid notes of jasmine, white flowers, cyclamen, and rose, and base notes of black currant and orange blossom. This is a well-blended authentic fresh floral that isn't overly strong or headache inducing how some white florals tend to be. It also isn't a heavy perfumey floral that leans mature smelling nor is it soapy or powdery and while it's fresh it doesn't have any added greenery to the fragrance. It's slightly sweet but doesn't lean fruity despite having fruity top notes and a base of black currant. I don't get a strong rose note, any citrusy tropical fruit notes, nor do I get a berry-like scent from the black currant. The orange blossom in the roly also doesn't turn the scent into a sea salt beachy floral fragrance. I'm hoping Yankee isn't discontinuing this beautiful floral and I hope it's only sold out for the spring season and will return next year. I still love all my floral fragrances during the summer. I know strict seasonal burners like to keep their florals in the spring season, but I enjoy burning a good floral when I need a break from all the tropical, fruity, beachy coconut scents. Plus, flowers are fully bloomed and still around during the summer, so I continue to burn my floral fragrances. It's rare that I run into performance issues with my Yankee candles. Three things I will always say about Yankee. You can't beat the authentic scents, good burn quality, and you get bang for your buck with the amount of burn time you get. Yankee's two wicks always come with long wicks that don't self trim so I always trim them prior to lighting the candle on the first burn. I like that I'm able to burn this candle for 4-5 to five hours at a time without performance issues. This candle is a soft mid range floral scent and a closed concept is a 6 out of 10 without a hurricane. It softly fills a bedroom without being too light or too strong. In order for the strength and throw to match what I got in my bedroom, it had to be placed in a hurricane in my open concept where it softly fills the room it is placed in at a 6 out of 10. It doesn't fill my entire open concept like Backyard Honeysuckle or White Gardenia from Bath & Body Works, but it's still a pleasant, authentic, room-filling white floral candle. It'll be perfect to burn in a bedroom, office, living room, or bathroom without being off-putting or headache-inducing. I love this fragrance blend of gardenia, jasmine, neroli, orange blossom, and honeysuckle, so I feel it's repurchase worthy. It smells authentic, beautifully blended, and has a great burn performance, and I like the strength and throw in my bedroom. It's perfect for spring and summer, and if it returns, I recommend picking it up if you enjoy soft white florals. It can be enjoyed on its own or make a perfect blending candle. Until next time, bye!